Well, Mark, what the police officers thought was going on and how they reacted to the situation definitely played a big impact in how the grand jury made their decision today. But um, special prosecutor indicated the way that the police responded years ago may have actually changed the outcome. Perception is everything, especially for the grand jury, determining if a police officer acted appropriately. And one of the things under the law, if you're deciding whether a shooting is justified, is what is in the mind of the police officers. Special Prosecutor Mark Beatmeyer says the Beaver Creek police officers were told there was a man with a gun inside Walmart. They considered it an active shooter call and are trained to respond a certain way. So they're basically told you got to get in there now and you've got to confront it. That's not the way it used to be. Pete Meyer said before 1999, officers were told to report, circle the building, make sure nobody comes in or out, and wait for SWAT to negotiate. Rules change again in 2008 when police were told to wait for at least three to four officers before they went to look for the suspect. Now time is of the essence. They're instructed to go find the suspect right away during an active shooter call to limit the casualties. Were the police facing such a situation? here? No. Did they know that? No. They're told we've got a guy in here with a rifle, he's loading the rifle, and he's pointing it at people. Now, um, Pete Meyer said that the Beaver Creek Police Department actually had an active shooter training just two weeks prior to this Walmart shooting. Live in Xenia, Natalie Tendall, 2 News, working for you.